ex-Dodger Yasiel Puig faces up to five years in prison after agreeing to a plea deal for lying to federal investigators about illegally placing bets on football, basketball, and tennis. Apparently, the gambling operation started in 2019, and at one point, his losses were up to $300,000 on a variety of sports. The 31-year-old pled guilty um, and can face a maximum of five years. He's also agreed to pay a fine of $55,000 in U.S. court in California on Tuesday. The sports gambling remains illegal in California um, after several ballots were voted last week to turn it down. An agent who is documented as Agent 1 was involved in the illegal gambling operation run by 46-year-old Wayne Joseph Nix. Agent 1 and another person identified as Individual B told Puig to write a check or wild transfer payable to Nix or his gambling client, Individual A. Then on June 25, 2019, with, uh, Puig withdrew 200000 from the Bank of America and bought two cashier checks for $100,000 apiece made payable to Individual A. After the two sides resolved the dispute over the balance, Individual A gave Puig full access to his betting websites. And that's where it went downhill. Between July 4th, 2019 and September 29th, 2019, Puig placed 899 additional bets on football, basketball, and tennis. In January, the Cuban-born was interviewed by the federal investigators. And despite being warned about the dangers of lying, he did so several times, according to the DOJ. Puig falsely stated that he only knew Agent One from his career as an MLB star and denied having discussed gambling with the individual. But in reality, the two had discussed gambling hundreds of times, and Puig also sent Individual B an audio message on WhatsApp in which he admitted to the authorities. So, I mean, I don't know what he was thinking, but he got caught. Nix uh, has pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy to operate an illegal sports gambling business and one count of filing a false tax return. He'll be sentenced in March of 2023. So Puig could be facing potentially five years in prison plus his $55,000 fine. Subscribe to Rovis Rants, hit the like button. I'll keep you up to date on more sports news. And if there's an outcome of to how many years he will actually serve, I'll let you know.